I had to persevere, bro. I said that I prayed. You feel me? God, this God supposed to handle the situation. So I put my faith in him. Mm -hmm. And he, we sitting at a table, we signing a hundred thousand dollar deals. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Yeah, man, we ain't doing no more five minute videos, man. This is a whole journey, man. So if y'all want to get the sauce, y'all gonna have to watch the whole video. This right here, 232 is back there. But also, too, I think I probably got a low interest. What's good? What's good, team? How y'all feeling, man? Hope all is well. So we're here on site, getting it in. Um, what we got going on today? We're going to be putting in all new windows. Um, waiting on the crew to get here. I'm changing up. I'm uh, relocating some outlets. I thought of a better way to do it. So I'm doing that right now. And also uh, getting some quotes on some other work. So, you know, guys, we we, we getting it. I'm getting it, man. Get up, get up, get up. You know, it's one of those things where y'all got to get, jump in and be a part of a real land bank team and uh, stop playing, you know. Right now, I'm helping you guys get the land bank off your back, like I said before. And, uh, and like I told you guys, this channel is evolving, you know. I mean, yeah, it's going to be tutorials. I'm going to do a lot of talking about how to do this, but also you're gonna see a day in the life of Calvin, you know? So we're just about to get it. Just going hard, no days off. I got a big project coming up. I got a new cameraman, you know what I'm saying? You know, you know. shout out to the other camera guy, but um, you know, we he's not, We it ain't work out, you know? So um, I got my guy, brother Jamal on the camera, so we doing it, you know, so I got to I got to be able to I need a camera guy so I can go ahead and give you guys this good content. Cause I get tired of editing, man. I get tired of that. So, you know, you already know how I say I don't feel like doing no editing. So we're going to have some going to get you guys some good content. Um, and you're gonna, we're going to take this journey, man, uh, this road to success. So let's get it, man. Hey, damn, I'm running to Home Depot real quick. So you want to roll a cable? Yeah. All right. Man, I wish Home Depot would bring back the hot dog, the hot dog lady. Dog, it did used to be a hot dog standing man, outside I'm that joint. Man, I tell you, bro, we just, man, what? <laughs> Boy, what are you talking no about? No cap. That was everything, man. I know y'all like, dang, Calvin carrying the gun? Yeah, man, I got, we got, got to, bro. I got to keep that 40 on me. I ain't playing. Got time to be pushing and shoving. Boy, let's get it, man. I'm excited. I'm excited, man. So, got to run to Home Depot. I ran out of three-way wire. So, this house here, that I told you guys before, is one of my good investors. Um, they look out for me. I take care of them. You know, if you were skeptical about jumping on the jumping on the team, dealing with us, you know, that's on you, you know. Y'all see me, I've been doing this. Started, what, bought my first house, 2016 from the land bank, and I ain't, I ain't stopped. And I, you know, and a lot of people be like, you know, don't get caught up in, uh, you know, thinking that, you know, you just about to come to Detroit, make a quick buck, all the type of stuff, you know. I mean, yeah, this, this the city is, I feel like it's, it's on sale, you know, but you gotta, you gotta deal with the people in the city. Right. <clears throat> you know, you gotta deal with the people in the city. And, um, and you gotta be giving back to the city, you know what I'm saying? Cause at the end of the day, if you plan on investing in my city, you know, you gotta give back, you know. Uh, because I mean, if the neighbors, if the neighbors feel like, you know, you just, you know, don't really care about the neighborhood. You're just thinking about the buck. They're not gonna look at look out for your house. It's nothing like that. You know, I always tell people to check the neighborhood. Um, try to get a house where you have people on it. You know, um, and then when you come by your first house, you know, try to if you outside cleaning it up. You see somebody outside, wave, say hi to them. Try to have a conversation with them. You know what I'm saying? Because uh, when I bought my uh, uh, my 
my apartment building, you know, it was an eyesore on a block, you know, and when I got, when I bought it, I went and talked to the people, you know, they love me over there now, you know, and I was able to um, start some change in the neighborhood. Once I started working on the property, you know, people got to saying like, dang, I could probably do this to my property. And make people start looking looking at their house like, oh, you know right. what, let me go ahead and get this. Let me go ahead and do this and that. You know what I'm saying? It's just like motivation, you know? So, man, it's an elevation, bro, you know? Um, and I'm going to be honest with you guys, you know, I already don't talk about how much money I make and all that type of stuff or whatever, but, you know, I'm going to tell you this probably out of 70 percent of the, the work i do i would say at least 35 percent of it is charity i don't even if i ain't charging for what i supposed to be doing you know i take care of everybody you know so it's like i tell you guys y'all gonna y'all gonna y'all about to see a day in the life of cow you feel me because uh you know i could talk to you about the land bank all day or whatever but it's better to show you guys, you know what I'm saying? So we just gonna, I'm just gonna show you how we gonna get it. Man, I'm dropping my own TV show on YouTube, bro, <laughs> yeah. you know. So let's get to this Home Depot real quick and, you know, go from there. Did you get the shirt, man? Did you get the back, bro? Did you get the back? Thank you for sleeping on me. We're gonna go pick up some, uh, gonna pick up some electric, uh, electrical wire. Then we're gonna pick up, uh, my dad want to be petty and say, I got to replace his wire, so. It is what it is. Man, you got to teach me how to do the skateboard thing, bro, because I, I tried to do it one time, bro. And shoot, I ain't gonna lie to you, I stepped on the board and said, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, you're not gonna do it without nah. falling, bro. You, you said I ain't gonna do it without falling? Now. <laughs> you yeah. better accept it now. Man, I'm, tr I'm trying, bro, I'm trying. So this will be our, uh 14 three wire that we got to get so we're going to need 250 feet it makes sense to get that and then we gotta get a roll of 14 two because my dad is being petty don't tell him i said that hey what's going on buddy um i need a 14 250 feet of 14 three and 14 two got a cart uh no he's gonna just uh you need this one? Are you using this one? I know you. I appreciate you, bro. Oh, man. So, and, uh. Huh? Yeah, yeah, the, the blue one. I'm so glad they made it blue now. Because they'll be like sitting there after you and ran it all, trying to figure out which one is the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trying to, especially when you're trying to source it out. For sure. Yeah. Oh, people always be having a little sale right here. I always come in and find you some fixtures. Uh, be on sale. Uh, that's why one thing I love, I'll be always getting stuff for the low. Sure. Thank you, sir. Uh, probably get $5. I ain't gonna lie to you guys, I'm cheap. I don't be like spending no money on nothing. $5 for that. Yeah, man, we ain't doing no more five minute videos, man. This is a whole journey, man. So if y'all want to get the sauce, y'all going to have to watch the whole video. Mm. So we at the Home Depot in Harper Woods. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. I think that's, I think that's all we need. Um, trying to think, do we need anything else? Um, yeah, we got to get some three-way, three-way switches. Three-way switches. These will be your three-way switches. So this will be, uh, uh, switches for when you have multiple doors uh, multiple rooms you need to go into so you want to be able to control like say your basement at the top of the stairs you got a light switch and at the bottom of the stairs you got a light switch and they all control the same uh, light you'll have two of these so it's based for two two light switches but if you have three light switches for one light then you need a then you need the middle switch will be called a four-way switch so get two of these here call it a day I think, I think I got everything else I need. If I don't, it is what it is. Shoot, I live at this dang on store. I appreciate you. Hello? Hello? Yeah, what up, dude? What's up, my brother? How you I feel? I was out here shopping. I was going to ask to see where you at the house. Yeah, yeah, we we over there. Uh, I actually just had to run to the Home Depot in Harper Woods. Um, okay. I ran out of some stuff, so I had to get some light bulbs. 
But yeah, me and my dad, my, uh, my camera guy here, so. And uh, we uh, basically getting all that stuff done. Hey. Yeah, yeah. Okay. You know what? So we are gonna put. So you remember that upstairs window that uh that was clo gonna be closed off? I'm thinking we're gonna probably put a, a super small window. We're gonna make that a win uh, we're gonna make that a bathroom still, but it's just gonna be like a real small window. So I don't know how much that's gonna cost. So, but that we are just we're across a big bridge later. So, um, make it like you you know like 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 a small cider or something like that. Like, like maybe like a, just just a small bathroom window like nothing uh nothing big so we're gonna go with the cheaper cheaper smallest window that we could put in there for a bathroom yeah so uh because i was talking to her about it we might it might be uh feasible for her to do a uh to do a um uh a group home at the property you know what i'm saying so then it makes sense to have a uh have a bathroom uh, upstairs, you know what I'm saying? Because if you do like a halfway house, you can have a ton of uh, a ton of uh, beds and stuff up there. So you might as well, you know, do a cheap little bathroom up there. Yeah. Okay. Okay, cool. So I, uh, I'll let you know about that when uh, we, we just worry about that one last. And also too, uh, she wants a quote on the siding too, so because we had got a quote from the guy that did the house next door, so don't forget about that. All right, bet. All right, so we'll be there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. I just thought about something. Lines be terrible, bro. I swear. Let's go around this way. Vlogging, nephew? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I appreciate that. That's Detroit, bro. We all trying to mind our business and make some money and not make the next man day or life harder. What's your name, brother? Tony. Jamal, nice to meet you. Pleasure, man. I like that, man. Thank you. It's a, it's a good, it's a, it's a good thing. Just doing shit you normally do anyway. Right, exactly. And motherfuckers looking. Right. Let you me know? get your number. All right. My homeboy, man. He, that nigga about eleven of bands of money, say. Mm. Huh? Yeah. I'm a, I'm a text you. My name's Jamal. I got you. Man, I'm, a, I'm his cameraman. It's my god brother for real. What do you do? You rapping or just his uh, work? Rebuild houses, construction stuff like that. Uh, all right, we most definitely can chop it up. I've been doing this mm -hmm. shit for damn 35 years. Word. Three, one, three, huh? Yeah. So you do the before and afters for them and all that? Yep. Before and after pictures later. All right, bet. Good luck, man, good with it, man. It's good yes, money, sir. likewise, yo. Have a good one. Want to find out if Maryland has the uh, smoke detectors? They got smoke detectors, uh, the, the new construction or the old construction? Well, at Maryland, the new, the old construction, forty-seven eighty-nine. Yeah, yeah. So the so uh, Habitat put in smoke detectors in all the rooms and everything. It's miss. Uh, it's miss. <clears throat> from my knowledge, it's only missing the one. Um, only missing the carbon smoke combo in the basement that's supposed to be wired. They went and put smoke detectors in everything else though. Okay, but the only thing about that, are they wireless? I don't know. That's lady. You gotta ask them because when I got there, the last time I was there working, um, uh, what was I doing there? I forgot what I was doing. When you had me do the uh, the lights, or whatever I was doing there, the last job that you paid me to do there, they uh, I just noticed. I looked up and it was there. Okay. So all right, you have I to. Know, seriously, I've got the wireless guy. Yes. All right. Yeah. So okay, it, they probably didn't because. Okay. They probably supposed they supposed to be uh, linked to the system, right? Yeah, it has to be hardwired downstairs, and, and then, the rest has to be wireless. Correct. Okay, thank you. Yep, no problem. Bye bye. bye. Yeah, that was uh my boy Lee. Uh, that's the mass electrician that I work up under his license. Um, 
probably is um, got about 50, 50 years uh, in the game in the electrical field. He's an electrical engineer, all that good stuff. Uh, and he's a master electrician. And, um, uh, you know, my dad taught me, you know, everything I know. Um, but I also, you know, decided I wanted to take the skills trades to the next level. And I went and got my uh, residential wiring certification. And then I had, I want, then from there I had to find who I wanted to work up under as far as to get my journeyman's uh, license to be an electrician. And actually one of my YouTube subscribers, one of you guys, needed help on a property where they needed a permit pulled. And um, they ended up finding Lee. Um, and Lee um, basically uh, got everything together and he ended up, uh, my dad ended up working, they ended up chopping it up, getting close. And then, you know, my dad was like, well, hey, why don't you, have you thought about taking it to the next level? I was like, okay, well, hey, I looked at it, reached out to Lee, and I said, if anybody can survive working uh, with my father, I can deal with them. If they can't handle my father, then my father going to, you know, my dad, he'll tell you straight up, you know what I'm saying? Y'all thought I was bad. My dad tells you to your face, man, you ain't right. You know what I'm saying? He tells you straight to your face. You know what I'm saying? And my my dad gave uh, Lee, Lee the green check. He said, yeah, he's a solid guy. So I said, okay, cool. And uh, I ended up contracting with him. And uh, we have done a lot of jobs. I've I've secured him a lot of money uh, and some big deals. And uh, and he loves that, hey, he got a he got electric electrical apprentice that's just not a regular uh, apprentice. I'm all over the place, you feel me? So it's a great relationship. Um, he was actually just calling me about a job uh, that we that I did um, for Habitat for Humanity. So we got a contract with them. We do their electrical. They're great people. Uh, you know, they uh, help people, uh, first time home buyers, uh, you know, Purchase homes, they have a great program. So big shout out to Habitat. Um, love what they do. Love working with the Detroit team uh, over there. Um, and, um, you know, so it's just been a blessing, man. You know, it's it's, 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 it's definitely, uh, definitely a blessing, man. So, oh yeah, man. That new merch coming soon too, man. So it's just like, New merch always working. Oh man, y'all. Uh, I got a. Uh, I would have. I wanted bought this. Just thought about it. What about a Cuban chain? Oh, we missed my exit, man. What type of cameraman is you, bro? We didn't miss the exit, bro. Y'all see it? Y'all see the stuff I get blamed for? <laughs> oh, God dang, bro. Like, dang, you know we supposed to go up on that, and you just just record, just blindly record. Like, what type of crap? Now we gotta get up off the whistle, man. It's crazy. Cameraman just recording. What is he doing, bro? Crazy. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I missed his exit twice today already. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I missed that exit on the way here, but you gave me the wrong address anyway. So. <laughs> I didn't give you the wrong address. Uh, that's why I shared you my, I shared you my location. Hey, that's messed up. I took all day to send you the wrong address. That's crazy. Yeah, so waiting on the guys to get here. Once they get here, we be going in. Let them do their magic. And uh, get everything else done. So we got the wall up here for the, uh, for the kitchen area. So now, now we can work. Now we can work. I don't like how you do the walk. I don't like how you do it connected, so I gotta wait till he leaves and then I do it the way I want it to do. Duh. The way I want it to do. <laughs> so it's crazy. He gonna come back and it's gonna be different. He don't be remembered. Duh.
I got OCD, so I like stuff to look a certain way. Basically, so, I'm uh, redoing it because since we changed the layout of the house and everything is open, everything has to be a certain type of way for me to be okay with it. So, everything is done the way I want it to be done. And then, I like to tack my wires at the end so that way I gotta run something different or rerun something and I gotta take all these tacks off. I'm securing my wires up once I make sure everything is where it's supposed to be. At. You gotta sit here and dig deep. You feel me? Like, I, bro, you talking about, I'm sitting there trying to provide for my family and. I said, matter of fact, when I was trying to close on my house, I know I told the story before, but when I was trying to close on my house, I went through Quicker Loans, mm -hmm. went through their little uh, buyer program and everything like that, and uh, they I qualified for everything, everything that they owed, I qualified for. Mm -hmm. Man, they played me so bad, bro. They sit here and told, you know, I get all the way to the get all the way to the end dog like um dog like hey oh you don't qualify to pass that but y'all told me i had a verified uh a better a verified pre-approval <laughs> they ain't hit you did they? you did <laughs> no it ain't hot enough no way um told me i had a verified pre-approval you know what i'm saying like so I should have been good. Mm -hmm. I wasn't good. They say here, they basically didn't look at my loan profile. They said, oh, you don't qualify because uh, you wrote off $20,000, $20,000, 20, uh, 2018. Mm -hmm. Mind you, it's 20, it's 2021. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I could use my 20, I could use my 2020 and my 2019 to apply for the mortgage, but at that time when I applied, it was, I used my 2018 and my 2019. So they told me 2018 to dis disqualify me, disqualify me. I said, well, okay, well, let's, let's, you know, let me just, I already filed my taxes for my, my other one, so y'all can use that. Oh, it doesn't work like that, we can't do it. Mind you, I had already paid for the closing, paid for all that, bro. Mm -hmm. They tell me, yo, you don't qualify. I got to close next week. What you, I got to close in two weeks. What you mean I don't qualify? Right. Bro, I had to persevere, bro. I said that I prayed. You feel me? So, um, when it came to everything, um, when it came to everything, I had to dig deep. You know what I'm saying? I had to dig deep. And I'm like, okay, oh, cool. So, I ended up going some, a different route. And from there... I was able to uh, go to a, go through a loan broker that ended up making me uh, look at the same information I gave Quicken Loans and say you do qualify. Mm -hmm. And I had to go through some other extra hoops, but I qualified and I ended up getting my house. But I didn't give up. 
They was on the bull, on some, on some bull. You know what I'm saying? And the thing about it is when stuff get hard, you can't give up. It's like, never. Like, you can't fold. Bro, I, I, being a hundred thousand, being what, a hundred thousand dollars in debt? You feel me? Like, and at the same time, I got, shoot, I'm gonna tell you this. I, will, I had, that's one, two, I was responsible for four households mm. off my income. I'm taking care of everybody. You know what I'm saying? So I didn't have the luxury of just saying, here saying, oh man, forget that, bro, that job plan. So I had to still get it. You know what I'm saying? It was a couple times, like, dog, I don't know how to get it. And I'm gonna be honest with you. When I decided to say, you know what? When I understood that when things are out of your control, out of your control, when two plus two equal four, and then you sitting here looking at it and two plus two is equaling six and seven, mm-hmm. I look at those situations where you supposed to let God take over. That's because he works in that realm. That's where he works at. You know what I'm saying? So I said, oh, this this ain't got nothing to do with me. This is between God. This God supposed to handle the situation. So I put my faith in him. Mm-hmm. And he, pff, we sitting at a table. We signed a thousand dollar deals. We sit, we signed a thousand dollar deals. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So... Man, my, got my boy King in the building, man. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We about to go ahead and get, we about to get this, uh, take care of these windows, work his magic. I'm gonna learn from the guru how to do windows the right way. You feel me? So, uh, y'all guys already know what I'm doing. So man, let, he can explain to you we about to get, get it in. All right, today is setup day. We like to come in and uh, get a good scope of the work. We had to do some new framing around a lot of these windows. Um, we be changing a lot of sizes out, so it'll be new framing. We'll be added to some of these windows. We got 20 windows to put in. I'm gonna bring my guys in. We're gonna try to knock this out in two days. We're gonna frame these windows. We're gonna flash these windows. We're gonna install the windows. And we're gonna insulate these windows, all right? I'm gonna make sure they level and square like they supposed to be. And um, y'all stay tuned and trust the process. Shirts, gallery, department, feel like a Martian Stay with the trees like I'm Tarzan Out of space, yeah, I stay with the stars I leave with the image, you don't wanna start That shit, y'all be smoking, ain't nothing like I do my prep work, cause if you on site The, the most uh, annoying thing is going to Home Depot Swear <laughs> 500 times So what I do, the night before um, our work day I go do a, a Home Depot run um, it also take like two or three days before I start my job to do prep work. So like, I already had a list of windows we needed, so I got all them. I knew something was gonna be different or something was gonna be missing. So today what we're doing is putting every window next to where we supposed to install them, making sure we got everything for that install, making sure I got all my measurements, making sure I got enough lumber uh, after we get our measurements. And then I'll take that one more last Home Depot trip. So when I come back tomorrow, all my guys will get here early on site and they'll be ready to work with all their materials and all the equipment. And we already got it. There we go. Cool. So we're trying to, you know, eliminate a lot of the problem. We know that. You know we got to go to Home Depot 100 times. So you right. might as well, that's why I tell all my clients, like, y'all prep before mm-hmm. we come in. So don't think I'm just going to come in and start whacking shit. Mm-hmm. Definitely going to get our prep day in. All right, so we got our checklist uh, for material. We got our measurements for each frame we'll be building out, and we'll be ready to start installation tomorrow. It's windows. Let's go. All right, guys, so I'm about to split, go to the crib, chill out. 
I'm handing it off to my boy King. Uh, his YouTube channel. About to drop some good knowledge on his channel. So I'm gonna leave a link to his YouTube channel in the description. So when you wanna learn, if you're gonna be one of my YouTube subscribers that wanna do it yourself, why not learn from a licensed builder? You feel me? Do it the right way. You know what I'm saying? Me, I could do it. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna say mine's gonna be a little, it might be an inch off. You know what I'm saying? It's my crib. So, you know what I'm saying? It's my crib. You come to my crib and say, yo, when a little inch off? Like, you know, I'm gonna tell you, get out. You know what I'm saying? But my man's king will get you right. You know what I'm saying? I trust that brother. Um, he gets you, he gets you right. So you guys are gonna see, y'all gonna check out some of the install on his YouTube channel. Um, some of the install, you're gonna see it on my channel. Um, but yeah, so uh, tie in with us if you want us to get the land bank off your back. You know, you need contractors, you know, join a real land bank team. You hear me? Real influencers that do real work on God and them.